And for the second time this rodeo season, drones fill the sky, putting on an incredible show. But there's a lot going on behind the scenes, especially on a breezy day. Maria Aguilera is showing us how this all works tonight. I'm interested. Maria, what's up? Cheryl, it was quite the show here at the Houston Rodeo. It is so impressive seeing it in person and people here loved it. But they do tell me that to put a show like this together, a lot of work goes into it. 10 seconds. 200 drones lit up the sky at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Organized into different formations of everything you'd expect to see here, like Howdy, the rodeo's mascot. It also featured a bull rider, cowboys, carnival rides, and lots more. It was super cool, and I was standing there thinking about how people like from a long time ago would probably be like, what in the world is this? <laughs> it's so futuristic. And it, it's a lot of detail, seeing like certain things, like the way it moves. The rodeo had its first ever drone show last Saturday, and it was brought back by popular demand. We're all from Texas, so it's a lot of fun to be able to put something on that touches the hearts of so many Texans. It's such a new technology, and it's so much imagery that they can really get behind and they recognize. Tyler Johnson, the director of operations with Sky Elements Drone Show, says what you see in person is only a small part of what goes into the show. Just in this show alone, there's between 30 and 50 hours of animation time that our animation team has put into this show telling every drone exactly where to be, what time to be there, what color to be. The drone show lasts about 12 minutes from liftoff to when they land. Johnson says it's still new technology that most people haven't seen a show like this in person. I thought it was wild, to be honest. It was uh, kind of crazy, them all being in sync and being able to take off and land. It's just amazing that someone can figure that all out, can think through it, um, and then can go to all the work to get it to actually like have a whole performance in the sky. It's awesome. If you missed a drone show last weekend and again tonight, you still have a chance to see it in person next Saturday at 8 p.m. At NRG, Maria Aguilera, KHOU 11 News.